Hello, I'm Paul Booth. Welcome to my little art studio, or I like to think of my little slice of hell. Come on in. This is called rope theory. A hobby of mine has always been making nooses. Ever since I heard uh, 13 loops is illegal because it uh, tears your head from your shoulders. Uh, so nooses can't have more than 12 loops. Uh, some of mine have less, but most of them have uh, at least 13. Um, now this is rope theory. This is basically when I hire somebody, um, I, uh, give them my rope speech, which is, uh, here's the rope, you can climb it and succeed with me, or you can swing from it like a noose, it's your choice. I'm very reactionary, so uh, you decide, you know, where we're taking this. So these just hang as reminders. Plus first timers that come in my room have to dodge them to get in, and it's a great introduction, you know. <laughs> I just love nooses. My tattoo chair, or I like to think of as the interrogation chair uh, I've had for quite a few years. It's actually a gynecology chair with stirrups. Just in case you need stirrups for a tattoo, you know, you never know. <laughs> um, but I've had this, this is from the 50s, I believe, mid 50s. I plan on, I wanna turn it into like a very creepy electric chair. Uh, I want to bring sculpted elements in steel up and around and my clients have to wear a, you know, a band around their head and, uh, uh, you know, make it like a really creepy chair to sit in. Right now it's uh, more on the classy side, but I plan on, uh, plan on make it ain't horrifying someday. Oh, there's a John Wayne Gacy painting. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's uh, an original Gacy. Um, Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, made this. It's traced of his own hand. And I can tell you, probably never really rehabilitated if you read it. Um, evil hands are happy hands. Hands that slay together, stay together. My bass was given to me by uh, Marcello when he was playing with Soulfly years ago. Um, Kerry King gave me this for my birthday, one of his guitars. And uh, this was a company I was working with that they asked me to do a graphic design for a guitar. And as you can see, it ended up cracking, so it's useless. But uh, you can kind of see the art on it anyway. Would have been cool, but never materialized. And I can't play one of them. I have no idea. I have a theremin here as well. Um, I. Uh, I call myself the one-fingered pianist because I play the piano like this. I can't play that either. So when I make my music, it's very uh, rudimentary, I suppose. Uh, oh, I record in here. Sometimes I make grunts and groans for dark ambient stuff. I've had uh, several musician vocalists in here that we've actually pulled off professional recording in this room. You know, it's, you know these are, none of these skulls are real. Um, except this guy, the Tibetan skull, that's real. And... How did you get that one? Uh, that one, uh, I think I was in, I might have been in Malaysia, I can't remember, but uh, I have two of them. This one's a little beat up, my other one is in really great condition. But I got this one uh, uh, somewhere in Asia, brought it home. I don't remember the story behind it. It might have been a trade. I have traded quite a few of these things for tattoos as well. So. Here's a good one. A uh, hay baler, I believe it's called. I call it a pitchfork, but uh, it's only got two prongs. But I stabbed a guy with this once. I uh, had some guys breaking into my shop late at night and I happened to be there painting. And uh, I jumped out of the door, they were picking the locks and I jumped out because I thought they were a bunch of kids, so I jumped out to scare them, and it turned out they were professionals. And uh, he grabbed it, like when I was coming at him with the pitchfork, he grabbed it. At that point, I had to use it, so uh, I just charged forward and punched him in the kidneys with it. 
And then we argued for 10 minutes while he's holding the holes from bleeding down his leg, arguing about why I stabbed him with a pitchfork. And I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> you were, of course, screaming. Uh, <laughs> you're breaking into my shit. What do I need to explain? You want to try again, you know? And uh, so, yeah, rusty old pitchfork seen, seen its days. <laughs> well, that's about it. Uh, thanks for joining me and checking out some of my collection, but I have to go now. So, see you around.